Okay, today we're going to swap this old broken water valve actuator and the first thing we have to do is get the stem apart and there's a lock nut right there and another one right there and so you just put a wrench on each of those and you break it free and then this whole piece of junk will come off after that <clears throat> we're looking at uh, using a universal globe valve actuator retrofit kit from Belimo and we're gonna cut we're actually gonna cut this old stem away because um, it's uh, stuck on there pretty good and if it comes loose during the process great if not we're just gonna cut it back flush and the new kit is gonna is gonna clamp right onto those threads so it'll be a piece of cake This nut might come in handy, we'll see. We'll see, we'll leave that on there for now. Just like that. All right, so we got that tower chopped off and uh, now we have room for the new base. The new base has a little clamp on it. It's gonna clamp on there, we gotta get it Got to get it flush, but we'll just clamp that baby on there. So we got the base mounted. It's clamped on there to the valve body. And next we got to put the, the tower on there. Okay, so we got these four screws in, finger tight. So you can, still, you can still adjust the base side to side. And then you use this red alignment tool that's provided with the kit. And you slide it down on there. And you make sure that it is centered in the hole. So maybe I'll come just a little this way. That's what that's for. Okay, so now we gotta install the, the universal stem adapter. It's got this claw thing that you can twist and it, it'll bite down right behind that nut. And then after you bite down behind the nut, you run this shaft down tight. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So there it is with all three of those clamp things bit down behind. So I can't pull on it, right? I can move it around, still floppy, but I can't pull it off. So next we just spin this down until it hits the shaft. And when it does, when those two shafts meet up, it's gonna, it's gonna be tight or you can't move it anymore. Okay, so you can see how this threaded shaft runs into the other threaded shaft and they bind real tight. So now it's just solid and that's, that's how it was designed, pretty slick. So then I'm just gonna slide the actuator down onto this tower and uh, lock it in place and connect it to the, the stem. Okay, so the actuator is slid down onto the tower. What you wanna do, just to be safe, is use the included Allen wrench and Put it in there and run the actuator all the way up. See how that accordion boot is uh, flat? Run that all the way up because these actuators sometimes are strong enough to pull the stem right out of the valve. It'll break the stem and then uh, it'll leak and it won't work anymore. We've had that happen a few times. And so the way I do it now is I pull the stem all the way up till it stops. I run the actuator all the way up till it stops. And so they are in sync. And then I run this down until the stem bumps up against the inside of the actuator there. You can see it there. Then you just clamp it down with this little black plastic thing slides, slides over. You have to be careful. That black plastic thing is a little bit fragile too. So, but it just slides down to clamp on. So that's what it looks like. It's all connected together now. I'm going to clamp these down tight and we'll wire it in and test it. Here's what the original one looks like and now that I've noticed after the fact, there's just a set screw there. All we had to do, instead of cutting it with the grinder, all we had to do is take that set screw out and it would come right off. Uh, that set screw on this one is covered up by the insulation. We didn't notice it. Um, that's what you get for not digging deep, but that's my life. So this is a modulating actuator. It's a uh, 2 to 10 volt D 
DC. So white is your signal, and then red is for power, and black is for common. 24 volt. Time to test it. So we've tested this thing one time, it does work, and these orange indicators, whenever you install it, you run them together like that, so that when it goes down, you can see how much it went down, like that. So, that's how much it moved. Another cool feature about these Belimos is they have a, a switch where you can reverse the action. So, you know, a lot of times chill water valves and hot water valves are reverse acting from one another because a long time ago they used pneumatics and the pneumatics uh, basically dictated that they had to be reverse acting of one another. So, um, that's a lot of times that's what you find. So, if you hook it up and you call it open and it closes, you can flip that switch and you'll be in business. After we did some testing, I did have to flip that switch because it was reversed. And finishing touches, I clip this on so that if it's ever needed, it's right nearby. But this one's done, it's working.